91.8 Hayes FM. Thanks for joining us on this little debate. What's your uh, recollection of all that? Do you actually believe them? For me, as a paranormal investigator down in the deepest south of England in Dorset, I believe more that there is something, but not what we conventionally term, what we conventionally think is a ghost. I believe there's probably something, because some very, very intelligent, very clever, very rational, and very uh, normal everyday people have witnessed and experienced things. So for me, I do believe there is something, but it's more what it is, you know, and, and sometimes I sort of think that we should be actually investigating the normal more than the paranormal, because the majority of the times you can pretty much find a rational explanation for an experience that somebody's had. Usually, Harmonsworth, Cranford, 91.8, Hayes FM. Just tuned in, a very good evening to you. Welcome to a Halloween special on London Local on a Monday night. And um, with us on the phone is Dave Gordon, and here in the studio is Ian James, talking about the paranormal and ghosts. How would you actually sort of go about sort of trying to find out if there is a particular presence within a particular building? It's about doing your research, really, getting to know a venue, um, getting to know people that work in a place. It depends on really what kind of investigation you're approaching. If you're approaching somewhere where people are experiencing things like now, then you would sit down with them, talk through what they're experiencing, and try and, and try to build up a picture of what's happening, and maybe a pattern sometimes as well. I mean, I've got a document that I would leave with them so they can write fingers down if anything odd happens. What about the, the actual things that they use you know, for detecting? Do you believe in all that? What I do use is we do use video cameras for paranormal investigations because at the end of the day, if something does move, then you've got documented evidence. And I would sort of encourage using more than one camera in an experiment so that you've got things covered from different angles. Because what often you do find is if you see a piece of footage where something's moved or, or whatever, you'll only get it from the one angle in the room. Whereas if you've got all bases covered, you've got something a bit more solid to look at and, and analyze, like a really compelling piece of video footage or something. So for me, that's more the way I take investigations, as opposed to spending hours and hours and hours of time using equipment that actually doesn't prove anything. I would rather spend a bit more time, you know, than having to fumble in the dark with stuff that doesn't work or that hasn't proven to work, spending a bit more time on something that actually will give you something concrete that you can actually look at, you know, sit in a group of people and say, right, and then kind of go into the investigation like that. Like I said, there are many different ways that you would take investigations depending on what, what the case is or, or what's happening, really. One of the most haunted places that I know of in Britain is Whitby where, of course, the Dracula book was written. And uh, I remember a friend of mine telling me that when they stayed there on holiday one time, they were staying in, like, a, a house not far away, and her father reckoned that he saw something coming up from a corridor that was leading down, apparently, from a bedroom somewhere, and he was the only one that was supposed to have seen it. But I'm afraid with things like that, as with anything, I've got to see it to believe it or have some sort of proof. You've got views on mediums. I don't investigate with mediums. Nothing's been proven yet in mediumship. I, I don't use mediums on a paranormal investigation because, again, I'm, I like to more get into the core of what's happening, get to the human element of, of what might be happening, so therefore speak to people about what they feel may be happening. Whereas it's quite easy to go into an investigation with a medium and, and be a bit led by what the medium might be saying. You know, if you walk into a room and say, right, we have uh, the spirit of Mary with us here, and it's always it always seems to be Mary... Um, that can then set the tone for the night, where it's good to probably go in with a bit more of an open-minded perspective and a clear head, really, and see see what happens. Dave, thank you very much for all that. Um, it was it's a really good insight into it all this because actually, so we've all got experiences uh, somewhere along the line. Um, you know, even though skepticals here may I'm still be. not convinced. <laughs> 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 and he's obviously, we're not going to be able to convince him. But I uh, say so thank you very much for all that. And I uh, hope to speak to you one day very soon. Yep, thank you very much indeed for inviting me on the programme. You're welcome. There we go then. There's Dave Gordon there. If you're just tuning in, very good evening to you. Welcome to London Local on a Monday night.